Hello, ma'am. How are you? Hello, I'm good. Thank you for asking. How is it going? All well. Thank you. Okay, welcome to our Mom Star series, ma'am. This video is regarding mothers share their successful story of their best breastfeeding, and myself, Shruti, from management team in Masi Care Clinic. Thank Tell you. us brief about yourself, ma'am. Uh, I'm Nena Gosami. I'm a flight attendant by profession, and I'm a first-time nice mother. You, Thank you. Same here. Yeah, ma'am. And I'm a first-time mother. My baby is uh, today. He has turned six months. Uh, so yeah, that's me. Okay, um, um, congratulations for your baby. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, ma'am, your case is of relactation, right? That's and right. You was having in the starting five ml, and now you are feeding your baby with three uh, three hundred ml per day, right? That's right. That's right. Congratulations, ma'am. Thank you. Please share your breastfeeding journey with us. How it's started and how it's end up. So my breastfeeding journey was a full roller coaster ride. Um, so initially, uh, I had a good supply, but uh, latching was an issue. Um, uh, the doctor had asked, I mean, once we were discharged from the hospital, uh, the baby's weight had come down to 35%. Uh, I mean, there was a drop of 35%. And the uh, doctor asked me to supplement with formula. And okay. uh, because of that, I was not able to make sure that he latches properly. But the supply was good, but I didn't have a knowledge that, you know, I should be uh, storing that milk. I should pump and I should keep that milk so that at least it can be used later on and everything. I used to keep leaking and everything, but I had no idea that, uh, you know, I should be storing that. Then after a while, obviously, because I was not, uh, he was not having that milk, slowly, slowly, the supply went for a toss. I mean, there was a decline. And uh, by the time he started latching, there was hardly any supply. So he used to get frustrated. Yeah. Uh, this went on for a good two months. Uh, I was giving him formula. So it was like majority of formula and very less of feeding. Whenever it was possible, I used to feed him. He used to feed very nicely in car or moving places. So that's where I used to feed him and all that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, then slowly, um, I had a few health issues after my pregnancy. So uh, one of them was uh, I had a hormonal imbalance, a major hormonal imbalance. Yeah. And uh, so I started my treatment for it. This was post uh, two months postpartum. I started the treatment and all of a sudden one day uh, I started leaking. And till that time, my baby was on complete formula, like 100% he was having formula. He was not taking my feed at all. And okay. I started leaking and um, uh, that was the day I realized that, you know, I want to again start feeding him. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, so then I read everything and all of that. It said that, you know, you need to pump every two hours so that your supply mm -hmm. increases and everything. I started with all of those things. But again, no major changes, nothing was happening. That was when I decided that I need a lactation consultant. And yeah. I searched. I had seen Dr. Tanima's, uh, uh, you know, ad on Google before that as well. But yes. I was a little skeptical. You get to know, you get to know yeah. about Dr. Tanima's uh, through Google, right? Yeah, that's, oh, that Google. was through a Google search. Mm -hmm. uh, I was not sure. So then again, when I started the search, I saw it and I was like, okay, let me give it a try. And I huh. think that was the best decision. So you, you came here for a trial, right? Yeah, yeah. I completely, I came here for a trial. You and it did do wonders. In a mom star series. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, as you mentioned that, you know, 300 ml of uh, breastfeed is what oh, he's having today. now. Hmm. And it's very less of formula. And... Uh, I mean, from my last appoint, I mean, uh, consultation with the doctor, he was having pumped milk. Now he's directly feeding, which is even more better now. What a great so, 
Yeah. yeah. So, so ma'am, during the journey, uh, what was the biggest challenge? Is it latching or low mill supply? Both actually, as I mentioned, initially it was latching issue and then yeah. later on later it was on, uh, low supply. supply. Yeah. And I think it was majorly because of uh, lack of knowledge, you know, lack of knowledge as to how to go about things uh, yeah, and yeah. everything. So, yeah, that was the two major things. Both of the things happened with me. So, yeah. So, ma'am, how was your experience with Dr. Tanima, ma'am? Uh, the experience was amazing. Uh, first of all, every patient expects the doctor to hear her out you know, hear her concerns yeah. very well. Uh, the very and first the thing that I noticed is... Condition, assess your condition accordingly, according to your health. Exactly. Two exactly. issues you are facing. That's right. So I, yeah. I, as I mentioned, I had a lot of health issues. I'm a yes. lactose intolerant person and people used to say that, you know, if you are not drinking milk, how will you get milk? Yeah, ma'am. Huh. So which is not, which is just a myth. But yeah. Uh, I told doctor that, you know, I can't have milk. I can't have any dairy products, nothing and all of that. She kept everything in mind and she, you know, told me, okay, this is the procedure. This is how I need to go about. And uh, very patiently, she understood all my concerns and advised me later on that this is how I need to go about. And eventually that helped a lot. So uh, it means you followed the treatment protocol so systematically and properly. As guided that's right. the ma'am. That's right. That's right. And ma'am, as you uh, told us that uh, you uh, you have just trial us for for the first time. So how you uh, according to you, how was the team and his staff? So the team and staff were also very very understanding. Um, I remember that uh, I think during my second consultation there was a little bit of confusion in terms of the baby weight. And I told the doctor the wrong weight. And okay. I called the called your team. I Rather, I dropped a message saying that, you know, this is what has happened. I've told them the wrong weight. They made sure that they immediately told the doctor that, you know, this is the thing. They yes, got it corrected in my so file. Bad. Yeah, they got it corrected in my file. And whenever there was some issue, so since he was starting feeding all over again, uh, there was a little stomach upset that he had and all of those things. Yeah. So uh, I used to talk to the team and they would just go ahead and talk to the doctor, tell me what needs to be done and everything. So they were very prompt and understanding when, you know, in dealing with uh, now, it, with me, apart from the consultation as well. And um, it's our work to, to provide right, uh, uh, right details to the doctor about the patient. Because that's right. That's right. Get the right details, then she will guide you accordingly, according to the that's baby right. and and the more details you may, uh, mentioned in the form. That's so, right. ma'am, what about the online consultation? As you have had your online consultation and the whole procedure you made through online. So, how, so it was how, very, it was very easy. Um, as I told, I was very, I was not at all sure initially, but the very first consultation made me, you know, 100% sure about what I'm going ahead with. Um, the, I mean, the calls are, you it's up yeah. to you to select the time and everything. So yes, it's like very feasible for the person to sit back at home and, you know, speak to the Have doctor. Especially the doctor. <laughs> Yeah, so I you know you don't have to worry that you oh it's time you have to go for the appointment get ready mm -hmm. take the baby visit take the, her visit the clinic and exactly it's not possible all the time to visit a clinic for a little little uh, issues or doubts. That's right. So, That's right. You so it was very very comfortable. Ask with your doubts. That's right. So it was very comfortable. I think um, I would prefer online consultation from now on. It's the best Thank thing. Thank you, ma'am. So, ma'am, what message do you want to convey to the fellow and expectant mothers according to your journey, ma'am? Uh, first of all, I mean, the first thing would be whoever is expecting around me, I'm making sure they know, you know, that I tell them that... Uh, if there is any issue, they can just go ahead and ask me and I will, the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and tell about the doctor. Yes, um, 
I do regret that I didn't start the treatment from the very first day I delivered. Mm-hmm. If I would have done it then, I do, I don't know. It would have been a completely <laughs> different situation yes, because uh, the medicines are not only for low supply or low latching. It's actually for uh, you know a nutritious milk supply as well. So yes, uh, it gives good it's nutrition to your body. Process. It's a natural exactly. process. Exactly. Yeah, and because of the Ayurvedic things that are there in the, uh, uh, you know, powder, that really yeah. helps in, uh, you know, boosting your uh, immunity and everything after the delivery as well. So, yeah, I mean, I would recommend it to every single person. And uh, uh, secondly, I mean, whether you are, uh, your supply is 5 ml or 150 ml, you're breastfeeding or you're pumping or you are giving all your, hundred percent on formula doesn't matter at all at the end of the day every mother is doing the best they can for their child so yeah i think we don't have to feel guilty about it all we have to do is be proud of you know we are just providing the best we can for a child yes ma'am and to gain knowledge about uh, lactation is also most important thing as mo- usually mothers don't uh, get the knowledge about lactation and if they are facing like low milk supply they used to provide formula to their kids and that's right this is in the my m- case <laughs> in my case i actually went ahead and i did all of all the research when I was pregnant and I thought I am 110% you know prepared for this pregnancy but uh, <laughs> that's never the numbers. case I guess but I think that's never the case <laughs> when it actually <laughs> happened that's when I got to know oh my god I lack so much of knowledge which yeah, now now I have and you know I'll be able to share it with other people as well you know, ma'am, Dr. Tanima also provides lactation preparedness consultations too. So the mothers who are pregnant right now, you, uh, they can take a consultation with the doctor regarding their pre-preparedness about lactation so that when they uh, will have their delivery, from the starting, they can feed their baby with their own milk. I think that's the, that's the best thing. Yeah, you know, from the first day, you don't have to stress about things. You can mm-hmm. be sure that, okay, I know what has to be done. Yeah, so ma'am. It's a very good attempt, actually. So from the second time, uh, you also join us for the lactation preparedness. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't have plans yet that, you know, of having one more, well, but yeah, for sure. Enough. Yeah, well. surely, surely. I don't have to think about it anymore. I mean, I, that's going to be like a, a first instinct that I will be calling the doctor and I'll be like, okay, I'm going ahead with this. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing your breastfeeding you. journey with us. And Thank you so much. You want to convey more messages? No, nothing. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Thank you Thank so you. much. And yeah, ma'am, love from our side to you and your baby. And once again, Thank congratulations. You, so you are feeding your baby, exclusively feeding your baby with your own breast milk. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.